How are you this morning? Hope that everyone has woke up on the right side of the bed, feeling well and feeling uh, rejoiced and energized and ready for the day. So today I'm going to show you a quick and simple way to scramble eggs. Some people can scramble and over scramble, but I'm going to show you the perfectly scrambled eggs and hopefully you get value out of it. Don't be afraid to scramble eggs because it's quite simple. And let's just do some quick housekeeping. For all my new subscribers, welcome to my kitchen. You all, here is where you're gonna learn simple and easy and quick recipes. Sometimes I throw my little spin on an old classic you may notice, but my whole motive and uh, my whole agenda is to make sure that new up and becoming uh, cooks, home cooks, um, don't be afraid of the kitchen and don't be intimidated by these recipes, okay? They are quite simple. And if you put your heart into everything you do, it, it'll all work out, okay? And taste good. So, to my existing subscriber family members, thank you for hanging in there with me and uh, encouraging others to like my content, share it, and enjoy. So, on that note, let's just get right into what I want to demonstrate for you, you know, you all today. Right. So, first of all, you're going to need your simple equipment. You can use a spatula, you can use a uh, plastic spoon, wooden spoon, or whatever. You do not want to scratch your nonstick pan. This pan here is uh, by the point there woman. I'm saying her name wrong, but I call her Miss Riri because I watch her on the Food Network channel, and I just love her um, her cookware. So, and they quite cute, as a matter of fact. Anyway, so we're gonna. You need your pan. You need your spatula. You need your butter knife because I cook with butter most of the time. And the reason it looked like that because I just cut my butter. And of course, you're going to need some eggs. Let your eggs sit out at room temperature um, before you begin to cook. And as well, of course, your stove and whatever other breakfast essentials you may want to include with your eggs. Okay, first, we're going to start with turning your stove on a low to medium heat. I would prefer, if you got an electric stove, I always turn mine to about a three, just to get it started and, you know, get it all nice and warm. But that's the duration that I'm going to cook these eggs on. Because you want to cook them uh, slow, so you can not overcook your eggs. Because some people just scramble the eggs and thinking it has to be like a hard scramble. Some people like hard scramble. Me, myself, I prefer soft scramble because soft scramble is just like one of my favorite. It's almost close to an over easy egg, but I'll show you one day how to make an over easy. And um, of course, you're gonna need a real good nonstick pan <laughs> to make that over easy because I'll show you my little you know, flip technique and all that good stuff. So um, what else? Some people like poached eggs. Some people like uh, fried egg. That's one of my other favorites, is fried. And I'm gonna show you one day how to make fried egg, okay? So these demonstrations, like I said, is quite simple, quite easy, so you don't have to get intimidated. I just thought that I would do this video real quick to show someone how to scramble an egg. Some people don't know how to, and you'll be surprised, but it's just the intimidation. It's not that they don't know how, they just intimidated about scrambling eggs or cooking anything on a stove, especially for the first time. Okay, so I recently showed my 10-year-old daughter how to scramble eggs. Now you can see that this eye is pretty hot. Now I'm gonna put this pan, and I'm gonna keep it away from me so that you won't, you know, bump it to the pan as you're scrambling. So I'm gonna turn my 
handle counterclockwise or that's clockwise. Okay, so don't worry about your little smoke. Maybe it's something you waste on your stove or whatever. Okay, so the pan is nice and hot. Almost. And I'm testing the temperature just by doing this. Not putting my hand in the, in the pan because I don't want to burn and get third degree burns and whatnot. So I'm just doing this just to feel the temp. Give it a couple of seconds just to get the pan nice and hot. Cause you want to start off with a nice hot pan, not scorching hot, but just hot enough to get the eggs started and cook. So we're looking for an internal temperature of about 160 or so. And I'm gonna show you how it looks to have a properly cooked egg, okay? Some people, like I said, they'll eat it raw. Like my dad used to back in the day, he used to drink the eggs raw. That's like a muscle man technique for extra protein or something i don't know any bodybuilders out there you might know or you might know an uncle granddad somebody back then used to drink them raw eggs and i used to be like daddy you can't drink raw eggs but he did and he didn't die from it either but anyway now you didn't you're not taking that advice from me okay i'm just it's sharing the experience that my dad did that all right so i believe this pan is hot enough now i'm going to take about a tablespoon of butter and put it in that pan. You see how it began to slide because that pan is getting hot to the temp. Now, because I am right-handed, I might flip my handle back to my left because I'm used to it, I'm right-handed. Now, if you're left-handed, you know then you are good by turning your handle back on the inside. So, like I said, I'm starting it at uh, a number three, and now I'm gonna put it to number four so I can get this a little bit warmer. Everybody's stoves are regulated differently, so I'll safely keep it between a number three and a number four on your stove and that butter is melting now you do not have to use butter on a very good nonstick pan you can just use the pan as is but because i like to cook with butter and i like the little flavor you know especially salted butter so you don't have to really add the extra salt and pepper well pepper but you don't have to add the extra salt if you don't want to so now my butter is nice and melted the way i want it i hope you guys can see i'm gonna step away for a minute just to make sure you can see what i'm doing okay you can see all right so put my spoon over there now that my pan is nice and melted I am going to, maybe I can move y'all just a little bit closer so you can be down in the pan. And I hope that my lighting is okay. All right, so soon I'll do a live demonstration for you all, so don't worry about that. All right, so now I'm going to crack this egg. Gently open the egg. If you get a little shell in it, that's okay. We can just quickly pluck it out. Well, don't do what I'm doing because I'm used to doing this. <laughs> so I got that little shell out nice, nice and quick. So now you see that the egg is beginning to cook. When you start seeing that white stuff, that's when you know that the egg is beginning to cook. So I let the white form just a little bit. So that's the yolk and that's the whites of the egg. Now it may seem like it's going a little slow for you. That's okay because you're learning and you don't want to burn your eggs, okay? You just want to be extra careful as much as possible. Okay. 
now you're starting to see it come together just a little bit. And I find that the more you scramble your eggs or move it around in the pan, if you move it consistently, you're going to get more of the yellow of the egg, which is the yolk, um, the after look after you scramble your eggs. Now, when you let it sit and let that white of the eggs develop, then you're going to get more of the white, white and yellow um, look afterwards after it's cooked. So, I'm going to leave it to sit for an extra couple of seconds. It only basically take about, I would say, a minute to scramble eggs. Not even a whole minute. Because I'm doing this for you guys in a slow um, session of scrambling eggs. So that you won't get intimidated and think that you, hey, I overcooked the eggs or, you know, or, you know, you don't think that it's fully cooked. Anyway. So now it's starting to form together and I want to gently toss it around and you see the motion of what I'm using and it's good to use a, a spatula. Now you see that the egg is starting to cook real fast now. But see, that's why I told you to put it on a three or a four on your electric burner. And that means for a gas stove cooker, you're going to put it slightly low where you can barely see the light on your stove, like the gas. You know, all those who have gas stove, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so now we can begin to scram. Now, this is the consistency right here that I'm talking about that I like a soft scramble. But it's not quite 160 yet. Now I'm doing this with one egg. And now you got to pick up your speed just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. And it's starting to form. It's still soft. But the more I move it around, the more it becomes scrambled. Now, my little girl, she likes her eggs just a little bit drier. Now, this is like a wet egg, right? Because it's soft scrambled. So it's more just a little bit wet than your uh, dry scramble. So here it is. It's getting to that dry consistency. But when you can tell it's fully cooked, all the white has gone and the yellow is more prominent. And you can move it around like this. By this point, you can take it off the heat or you can leave it on. Now, if you have a food thermometer, you can test the temp right at this point. And it may say 160 or so. As long as it's not under 100, you are good to go. So it can be as low as 145 or 160. If you don't believe me, Google it. All right. So this is the consistency that I like for my eggs. You see? Now, that is a perfectly cooked egg, not overcooked, still soft scramble, in between soft and dry, because my little girl likes hers a little on the dry side, but it's not dry to the point where, you know, it's like tasting rubbery and all of that stuff. So, here you are. Don't be intimidated. You see how fast it took to cook an egg? If it was keeping count, then you would probably say it was less than a minute. Low and slow is how we win the race when it comes to cooking eggs. So I hope that you had enjoyed this short video, a tutorial video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Also pass it along to a loved one or rewind it and watch it again so you can get a hang of cooking eggs, scrambling eggs, and do not be intimidated like I said. It is easy as one, two, three, A, B, C. Again, like, share, subscribe. Hope to see you all again in my kitchen. And until next time, keep God first in everything that you do and be blessed.
Have a good day. Thank you.